Our next insider is a dermatologist who recently sat down with host Henry Guzman of Baptist Health to show us some products to relieve sunburn and also helps a viewer with an itch that just won't go away. But first, the benefits and dangers of the sun. The sun helps your skin make vitamin D to keep your bones healthy, keeps your mood elevated, keeps your sleep schedule regular, and even grows the food and nutrients you need to survive. But too much sun can lead to sunburns and other damage you can't see. In addition to visible light, the sun makes UV or ultraviolet light. UVB rays will often cause a tan or sunburn, while UVA rays go deeper and can damage your skin's natural growth, repair systems, and overall appearance. As you age, it's naturally harder for the skin to repair itself, which is why you get wrinkles and lines. If you get too much sun, you can speed up this process, so your skin ages earlier. The outer layer of the skin gets the greatest sun exposure, but the deeper layer is composed of uh, proteins that uh, will uh, strengthen the skin. These proteins get damaged by the persistent sun exposure. Instead of giving a nice, strong, uh, clear skin, uh, they'll break up and give you the, the wrinkles, and that's the deeper layers of the skin. Eventually, all that sun exposure can lead to skin cancer, the most common type of cancer in the U.S. Examine the skin and make sure that you're aware of what uh, type of lesions are present or not present. Uh, freckling uh, may be uh, very prominent in some individuals, uh, particularly concerned about uh, pigmented lesions, brown or, or black uh, lesions, or those that with a regular size or shape. Wow, scary, scary stuff. Um, so we actually have a caller. We have Marina from Hollywood. Marina, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you. Thank you for the show, and thank you, uh, the doctor in there. And my question is, uh, I had for two years uh, some kind of um, something about similar when the mosquito bite. But not the mosquito, it's something one point and each in a lot. That is a, a grow. I try to know, to know a scratch or something. But what happened is turn around and be one in there. But is it in the day, in the night, anything about one moment in the legs, in the, uh, uh, my back, the hand, the arm? Before I had the maybe 20, but now I have around 85, 100. What this is sounding like is mosquito bites or perhaps something that may have started out, it could have been mosquito bites, that started out an itchy condition. So a mosquito bite in certain patients with the chronic scratching can lead to another condition. So the fact that she's gone from 20 lesions as she described, might have had 20, now she has 80, 85. Right. Um, we might be into one of the chronic itchy conditions. There's a specific condition called parigo nodularis, which will cause chronic itchy bumps. It's almost like that itch, scratch, itch cycle where it itches, you scratch, the scratching causes more itching, so you itch, you scratch, and you never quite break this cycle. Um, that starts to cause some chronic damage to the skin. The skin builds up, forms a bump, um, which can be misinterpreted as another bug bite, as another mosquito bite, but it's not. It's the chronic itching and scratching. And they're very itchy lesions and very difficult to treat. So she may be getting different cortisone creams um, that are that they're they're trying to help her with the with the with the symptoms. Um, it's a difficult condition to treat. Yeah, yeah, Marina. I hope that helps, and thank thank you so much for calling into the show. Um, now, doctor, the video mentioned uh, that we saw earlier that ultraviolet light damages the skin. Now we have a graphic of the two sources. Um, would mm -hmm. you go over the differences between the UVA and UVB again? One Certainly. Well, there's actually one more component, UVC, and that one, that UVC is pretty much stopped by the clouds in the sky. The um, UVA and UVB are the, are the forms that tend to reach the Earth's surface. 
both of these, UVA and UVB, uh, cause damage to the skin. As you can see, uh, starting with the epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis, that's going deeper and deeper and deeper into the skin. The UVB, which is the most uh, common form of uh, UV radiation that uh, causes all of the changes in the skin, that one penetrates only to us uh, the, the upper layers, but the UVA uh, actually penetrates deeper. And this one can cause, it's, pro it's the cause of more of our chronic, long-term type of uh, sun damage. So that brings into play what you mentioned earlier about the sun uh, protection. Using SPF. broad spectrum, broad spectrum covering both UVA and UVB, not just UVB. Okay, mm -hmm. and now just to kind of bust uh, one particular myth about um, if you have already have a tan, a nice mm -hmm. deep dark tan, does that protect you from the sun from further There's damage? a little bit of protection, very okay. modest protection from uh, our own innate tanning. Uh, but there's nothing that substitutes uh, good use of sunscreen using our ultraviolet uh, protective clothing, using sunglasses, using a hat, staying in the shade, avoiding the peak hours of the sun. There's nothing that substitutes that. Yeah, and you've already probably done some damage from that deep tan you got in the first place. Oh, to, there's, to there's not, there, there's a, uh, uh, there's no such thing as a healthy tan. I, I, tan is actually, uh, it, this, for the skin to tan, there has to have been damage to the skin. There's some burning. And, and for our audience that are, that are watching, if you're not scared so much about the cancer portion, I know nobody wants to look older than, than what they are. <laughs> so your skin will wrinkle. Oh, it's it not will like an if wrinkle. or maybe. Mm -hmm. it, will, it will wrinkle and you will probably look older than And the than brown the spots, age. yes, definitely. Definitely. Um, so sunburns, let's go mm -hmm. with sunburns. Say you did get sun, you, you fell asleep out there or, or you, you were a little bit careless. Mm -hmm. How do you treat a sunburn? What? So it's a number one, prevention. Now, you, know, you know I'm gonna say that. Number one is gonna be prevention. But if you are that person that got the sunburn, there's de different degrees of sunburns. And sunburns are burns. So um, you can have a mild sunburn, which is just a uh, first degree burn. Uh, so to speak, but you can also have some pretty significant sunburns with the blisters and they can go, this, they, the damage can go down deeper into the deeper layers of the skin. So a, um, if you have a sunburn, then you want to treat it symptomatically. Let's assume that you're not blistering and, and sloughing off the skin. You can treat that one at home. There, at the pharmacy, you can find uh, um, uh, several products that can help. Um, I think we have a few uh, on display here, which are the um, uh, aloe vera. We have uh, some topical anesthetic type uh, products, um, uh, some spray products, the, and, the, um, and, and always use a moisturizer to keep that burnt skin nice and, uh, um, uh, and moisturized so it doesn't get dry and itchy. Um, some of the, the ones that have the cortisone in them will also help with that itchiness. Um, if you have a more significant sunburn, if there are blisters uh, um, or any or uh, developing fevers, feeling um, ill, then that's a reason to go to your uh, local emergency room. Yeah, and um, if you're like me, if you've ever had a sunburn, my guess is most folks have used one of these products because um, yes. it helps with the pain. Oh, it, it helps, certainly does. It brings yes. a lot of yes. relief, yes. Uh, especially the aloe yes. uh, in, in particular. And, and one other tip is putting that aloe in the refrigerator. That certainly helps, keeping it cool. Just keep it there. You never know when you might need it. Um, applying it when it's nice and cold, that's, uh, that, that helps a lot. And that's such great advice. I especially like the doctor's suggestion of keeping aloe vera gel in the refrigerator. And you can watch the rest of the interview by downloading the Health Channel app.